Hello. What I'm going to do today is demonstrate how to create a radio whose location you can zero in on and discover. And the source of this is going to be outside of a wasteland, like the random encounter in Fallout 3, where you find a dead Chinese soldier and there's like a radio coming for him. It'll be like that. So, to begin with, we're going to create. I'll open with creating my voice type, I think. Uh, so, right click new here. Right click new and I'll give it a unique name, my radio voice. Just doing that so when I actually create the radio, I can just do that, put the voice in straight away. I'm going to edit one of these because these have already got the thing we're needing, market X, NIF, and also they've got all the right settings. So I'll give it a new ID, so this will be my radio. And give it a name, uh, the name could be my radio. And all of this can stay checked, this can stay checked. And hit OK, yes we want to create a new form. So we're going to want to put it somewhere in the wasteland, so I'll load that up. What I've done when I've done this is I'll create the quest that handles the radio. I should probably do that straight away actually. Um, I'll right click new and here's our quest, it doesn't need a name, so I'll go my radio quest. Priority 55 and both of these start game enabled and allow repeated topics checked. Hit OK. And now I'm going to look for it again. Where does it say my radio? Go to radio, right click, add topic, radio hello, and we'll give it something to say. This is my radio. And we'll go back to quest data. And in quest conditions, we're going to right click new, get his ID, my radio. So now all the topics will be set by my radio. It's just a quicker way of doing it. And I've found that unless you add a second topic, Sometimes this won't play, or at least it didn't play when I tested this earlier. So I right click, create a whole new topic, radio topic 2. It'll serve as a, a good demonstration as to how to create your radio as well. And link to radio, oops, radio topic 2. And then go to radio topic 2 and give it something to say. More of your radio. Okay, and this links from Radio Hello. And because there's only one other topic, I'm going to just have it linked to any because it's only going to go back to. But you keep doing that in a loop if you have a long thing you want to do, link to the next one. I'll just put link from any here as well. And then link to the next one, link from a previous one, and so on infinitely. And you could also just straight up record this here, but I'm not going to do it because I haven't saved my mod or anything. Then I'm going to put the radio in the wastelands will be probably the best thing to do. We'll go to Springvale. Just wait for the references to load. I'll just hit yes to all when these come up. And now what we're going to do is go to activators, which will be somewhere here. There it is. I'm just going to use the generic ham radio 01 to represent our actual to represent our radio in the world. So you, you probably have an idea of where you want your radio, but I'm just going to put my radio on the floor. Because why not ham radio on the floor? Yep. <coughs> I'm just going to double click this. I'm going to set open by default. Which, because I'm going to also demonstrate how to turn the radio off and on using the by activating the ham radio. So if I hit open by default, the ham radio will default to the on position. And I'm just going to call it something my radio ref, give it a unique ID, and make it a persistent reference. Okay. Now we need to go back to the talking activators because we're going to put our actual radio in the world now. My radio, this is it. And there we go. Um, I don't suppose it really matters what my model is, but the game uses X markers, and I, so I'm going to use X markers. I just put it somewhere under the ground near my radio. Now we're going to want to give this a unique ID as well. I'm going to call this my radio 2 ref. And here is ra radio data. We're going to have a radius. Now this is where you decide how big a radius you want your radio to broadcast across. Again, I'm not really sure how the units work, um, but. Um, what does the base game use? I think it uses... Have a look at what the base game uses and just use that. Oh dear, I'll ignore it. And you can see the base game uses 6,000 
for the radios, so 6,000 seems good enough. I was going to do 1,000, but we'll do that. Static percentage, we'll do 100, so that means when you're at the very border, you'll only be able to hear static. And as you get closer and closer to the radio source, it will become clearer, the message, so that will help the player track down the radio that he wants to use. So we're going to write a script now. So SCN, my radio script, as long as it's a unique name, it'll be fine. We're going to do begin game mode. So if my radio ref, which is the ham radio that we placed on the ground, dot get open state equals one. So if the ham radio is set to the on position, my radio ref dot na enable. Now that won't do anything at the beginning because the radio defaults to one, and our radio sorry my radio two ref the X marker which is actually broadcasting the signal is enabled by default. But now we're going to write else if my radio ref dot get open state. Now this is the weird bit equals three. That means the radio is off. Um, I don't know why it's three. That's just what the game is. Uh, like zero means that it's. I don't really know what zero means. Um, it doesn't appear to mean anything. Uh, but three means it's it's. Uh, Closed two means it's closing, so and uh, so we go. My radio to ref dot disable end if end, and we'll save this as a quest script. So what that means is if the open state, if the ham radio we put on the ground is on, then the X marker that's broadcasting the signal will be enabled. If the ham radio that we put on the ground is off, then the X marker will be disabled. And we've saved this as a quest script. Like that. So now we're going to want to look for a quest that we made before. What you're going to want to bear in mind is that the script processing delay is set to 5 seconds. So when you turn off your radio, you'll have to wait 5 seconds before it. So you can uncheck default and hit 1 so that it won't be as long a wait between turning off the ham radio and having your signal disappear. Um, so we're going to attach our script. My radio script. Okay. So that should be that done because now we've got this quest that begins game enabled. We've set up all our radio topics. So your radio will permanently be, be looping between, in my example, saying, This is my radio, more of your radio. This is my radio, more of your radio. Permanently. But then you'll gradually be able to hone in on the signal, track it down and switch it off by setting your radio open state to free by activating it and switching the little handle. Then radio 2 will be disabled and it will stop. You will lose track of the radio. And that is how you do it for a radio that is outside. A piece of advice, before you record the dialogue for your radio, before you actually record your voice, uh, save the ESP so that it will be able to create folders in the right place because when I did my test I recorded the voice then saved the ESP so the game was looking for the folders in the wrong place and it didn't work. So save then record the voices so that it can automatically create the right folder structure for you. Uh, so that should be everything. hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and goodbye.